Hey cats, welcome back. I spent the last two months making this. If you're a human, chances are you spent some time in the lands between, or at least heard of Elden Ring. This building is the Church of El, one of the first locations many players stumbled upon when beginning their journey to become Elden Lord. I started this project like any other, with my hands of course. Oh, and some dollar store foam board. With a straight edge and pencil, I began marking the board for the immense amount of cutting I would be undertaking for this project. I tried to be as precise as possible with my measurements and cutting to ensure that the structure would be as close of a replica to the endgame church as reasonably possible. To stay organized, I kept the foam pieces in stacks with the measurements written on the side of each one. This will be the front entrance. For the windows, I measured out a grid pattern and then freehand drew them in. And then I picked the best window to cut out first and use as a template for all of the other windows. It's time to assemble this kit that I've created. Don't mind me as I settle in for this crafting conundrum. The foam pieces fit together nicely with a bit of hot glue and a shaky hand setting them into place. Wow. I know, right? Looks pretty good. These are the sidewall windows. They're on the sides wall of the building structure. Anyways, I used my Moonveil Katana, I mean X-Acto knife, to cut out the first wall and then use that as a template for the second wall. With the side walls glued into place, that's three walls complete, and I just need one more wall to have four walls. Nice! To emulate the curvature of a column, I used this paper towel roll and cut out sections like these and then I hot glued them to the outer walls. I glued the back wall into place and then glued foam strips to bulk out the corners of the church walls. I completely forgot about the windows and pillars that would need to be added to the back wall so I removed it and added those on the church kind of looks like a church now. It's time to destroy all that hard work. After destroying the church, I put the figurative cherry on top and finished the steeple. These are the interior arches. Sorry about the camera, I tried fixing it. This tofu box will be used to make the pillars that support the interior arches. Using a round cap, I wrap the material around it and use a rubber band to hold it in place while I hot glued the inside. This brought back childhood memories of eating bugles. I think everyone did the same thing and put them on the end of their fingers. Some more foam to make the tops and bottoms. After putting the pillars together, I used some modeling paste to cover them up and give them a fake stone look. Having completed the pillars, I hot glued them onto the tops of the arches. And with that, the bones of the church are nearly complete. I will say, I was pleased with the quality of the build so far, but with how long it was taking, I did decide to forego some of the smaller details. 
Speaking of details, these window arches and sills took ages to cut out, but by far it wasn't the most time consuming part of the build. For the entrance tunnel, I used some more of the tofu box from earlier. The flexible material fit perfectly as if the hole were made just for it. These tiny pillars are for the main entrance. Three of them will be staggered together on either side just like this. These arches look a little rough now, but once they're covered in modeling paste and painted, they'll blend together nicely. Bricks. By far the most time consuming portion of this build. I lost track of how long this took me. I made the decision to make the bricks by hand instead of just drawing them on like a normal person would do. I cut the bricks from 1 inch housing insulation foam and to weather them I used the classic technique of putting them in a container, adding a few rocks, and giving it the old one 2 shake -a Now watch in 60 seconds what probably took me more than 2 weeks. To fill in all the mortar lines, I used modeling paste, um, spread the paste with a brush, and smooth it out with a wet finger for best results. After the paste dried, I grabbed some Mod Podge black paint and a brush. I mixed them together. This mixture will protect all the foam from the spray paint base layer and give the work a nice finish. It's time to paint. I used this linen color, and as you can see, that may be a questionable choice. I started by painting the bricks individually, which took forever, and required more than one coat to cover the black base coat, so I made the decision to just paint over everything and then go back and paint the mortar lines in. I was mostly satisfied with how the mortar lines turned out, and it's also at the time of editing this right now that I just remembered I had meant to go back and color some of the bricks different shades. Oh well. To give the building that reclaimed by nature and weathered look, I used a light green and splotched it all over to give it a mossy growth appearance. No, that's a lot of Moss. Next I'm going to make a homemade dark wash with dish soap, brown and black paint, and water. Don't be afraid to mess around with the ratios of paint depending on how dark or light you'd like it. Using the wash I just made, I start applying it over the entire model. Do make sure to cover your work in a layer of clear coat or varnish beforehand, otherwise the paint will peel off. Ask me how I know. With the church all grunged up, I moved on to the satisfying task of covering everything in vines. If you take this clump foliage, stretch it apart, and glue it on random places around the model, you'll end up with a very convincing looking vine growth. Having completed the church structure, I needed a base to put it on, so I cut out this 15 inch by 61 centimeter piece from some 1 inch thick insulation foam. I covered the base with 98% organic dirt to give the appearance of dirt. With the dirt finished, I added this light green grass flocking. After the grass dried, I used some more clump foliage and tacky glue to make tiny little bushes all around the church. We've finished foliage foolery for now, have a look at all these accessory items I made off camera. For the front, I glued the torches, fence, and crucifix into place. And for the interior, I placed the fire, bags, bundle of sticks, small pot, anvil, and the thing next to the anvil. Having placed all the accessories, I could now also finish the foliage work. And let me just say this now, I kind of rushed towards the end of finishing this project. I was eager to complete it since I spent way too much time making it, so some of the end bits I did off camera. Oh, and if you're wondering about Kale and his donkey, they died. And with that bit of information divulged and everything set into place, 
I painted the sides of the base black for the final touch. It's time for the beauty shots. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to help me and this channel, I would really appreciate the usual YouTube requests to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm looking forward to eventually giving this project away to one of you viewers and subscribers.